going on guys? It's Greg from East Coast Dots, and uh, today I've just been uh, around the house. It's Friday, uh, working hard, making, getting some mesh done, stringing up some heads, shooting some live stringing, shooting some head-to-heads for all you guys to check out. But what I want to talk about right now is the NCAA proposed rule changes. So they just got released. Uh, you'll probably see it all over Facebook. So I've been checking out their proposed rule changes. They're not, I don't think they're definite yet. I think they're just proposed. But I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about how these changes will affect the way you string your stick because they are bringing in some changes that will change stringing as well as head specifications and things like that. So uh, let's talk about the first one and what I think to be the biggest one. So you guys already know the NCAA changed the rule on heads a while ago uh, that for the NCAA they had to be three inches across at the bottom at three points and then a minimum of six at the top and for high school at six and a half. So that created the X6 heads and the X spec heads and the universal heads and everything like that to separate which levels could use which heads. So that was a big change. That occurred when I was in college after my sophomore year. And so everyone had to get new sticks, had to readjust, had to readjust how they string, and they're just different. So that was a large change. Didn't create a huge uproar. It wasn't a huge deal. But it did impact some people. Me specifically, I didn't like it. You know, you get used to a head, you want to use it. So, um, you know, that was a big change. Now we're having another one. So the first um, item that they have is uh, the shooting strings. Now they say that the shooting strings can be no lower than three and one half inches below the scoop. Now it didn't specify too much whether this would be measured from, so let's get a little bit of tape measure here, from the top of the scoop, from the bottom of the scoop. I'm going to assume it's from the bottom of the scoop because that would really only make sense. So what we have here is my game stick with a pretty high pocket with two U's and one nylon. So you would think that this wouldn't have too much trouble. and you know, I don't know how exactly they're going to measure it. I guess they'll have just a little, little stick thing that'll tell them. But from what I can tell, I'm sitting at right about three inches. So I've got a little bit of leeway. But this is a high shooter setup. And this is at the upper extreme of the allowable rules, three inches. And it can only be a half inch lower. So I'd say uh, one diamond lower, one set of diamonds, skip another row and go one more down. And then you're, you know, you're out of business. You cannot use that stick anymore. Now, I don't know if they'll be lenient with this rule in the first couple of years. Like, I know the first year they changed the pinched width, um, they would have this card that they'd slide in. And as long as it went in there without jamming it, you know, they would just kind of, you know, whatever. And if you watch referees string or uh, check sticks now, they just kind of roll through it. So I don't know if they're just going to take a tape measure and just kind of make sure it's not grossly illegal like they have uh, with some other things that I've seen. But I'm not sure. So this can be a huge factor for some people that have, like, a really low shooter setup. And I'll tell you what, this is going to completely take Iroquois pockets out of the game. Uh, you will not be able to have an Iroquois pocket with a three and a half inch rule because immediately you're already starting two inches down. So you can barely have any shooting strings at that point. So I would say that Iroquois pockets for NCA rules, if these proposed changes are made, will be out of the question. Uh, low shooter setups like um, Ned Crotty, Billy Bitter, they all use a low shooter setup. I'm not sure that they'll pass. Um, so here is a Tim Desco replica with the same shooter setup he has, and I can tell you right now, that's not going to make it. There's three and a half inches, and that's just the second shooter. So that, he will have to change the way he strings the stick. This will no longer be NCAA legal. So that's going to be a really big deal, I think. Uh, the next thing is, that will really impact face-off guys, but might also impact them others, is they do the, the drop test, you know, out the side and out the back. Now they're going to start doing an in the back drop test. So the idea is they stick it in the back at the deepest point of the pocket and rotate the head 180 degrees. And you can see my the ball does not fall out of my stick when you do that. This is a brand new head, brand new, not pinched at all. Now this is a high school legal head, but still, uh, it's brand new and that's even high up in the pocket where it's not even pinched. If I put it down low, seems like it might come out, but if I put it down low, it's not going to come out. But if they put it at the deepest part of the pocket, it seems like my ball is not going to fall out. And that is a function of the bunching I've done to create my high pocket. All that bunched up mesh in there, when you put it in the back, prevents it from falling out. So especially for face-off guys whose heads get warped very easily, it's almost impossible to keep a face-off head from getting warped and pinching in. Um, that's really going to be an issue. You have to replace your head all the time. You're going to have to bake it, re-unpinch it, you know, uh, keep a field hockey ball in it. And I think it's really going to create some calls. So that's another one you got to watch out for. You can see this superpower 
very prone to hourglassing, you know, with how pinched this is, this thing's it, it's never gonna pass, you know. So super, this one is not even that used. Superpowers just tend to hourglass very easily, so uh, that is also going to be an issue. And finally, the last item is uh, something that's less of a concern. Uh, they've made a rule that you can now only have one sidewall string. Um, you know that there was some people that did double sidewalls where you do one string and then another string will connect the mesh and the sidewall. Um, that's not going to be any. You know, that's not going to affect a lot of people. Some people I've seen people twist two sidewalls together to make it cool looking colors but functionally this won't be an issue most people string their heads with one sidewall so overall um, I'm not happy with these changes I think the three and a half inch rule is a little much and certainly I think the in the back rule is impractical um, you know there's just it's hard to prevent things like that that happen naturally I could play one game with a head and bend it and get it checked and it probably wouldn't even pass. My head, brand new, does not even pass. So um, I think, who knows how many of these are actually going to happen. They are proposed, like I said. But uh, I think there's some interesting changes and something you guys should definitely note. Again, this is only NCAA. It won't affect high school rules, but some rules do follow NCAA. So uh, something you guys should definitely keep tabs on, how you string your sticks. Make sure you're not out there with a legal stick. That's a big penalty and can really cost your team. Um, I've seen it happen. So anyway, I'll try and keep you guys updated with more stuff like this as I get it and as I see it and give you my, uh, my interpretation on it. So thanks for watching. Do this video like if you liked it. Uh, you know, feel free to have a little debate in the comments if you want. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, have a great day.